Good morning students, welcome back to 9th science, unit 12, periodic classification of elements part 3. Now what we learnt in the previous classes, now let us recall, Dobrinia triads and their limitations, Newland law of octaves and their limitations, Mendeleev's periodic table then features of Mendeleev's periodic table and their limitations. Modern periodic table, here you have four blocks, S, P, D, F blocks elements. Then features and advantages of modern periodic table. Now you come to the next topic, position of hydrogen in the periodic table. Hydrogen is the lightest, smallest and first element of if the periodic table. Its electronic configuration is 1 s 1, is the simplest of all the elements. It occupies a unique position in the periodic table because it behaves, it has the properties of both alkali metals as well as halogen in its properties. Alkali metals means first group elements, halogens means seventh group elements. So, hydrogen has the properties of both alkali metals and halogens. It is in periodic table, it is placed at the top of the alkali metals. Here, hydrogen can lose its only electron to form a hydrogen ion H plus like alkali metals. So, it acts as alkali metals. It can also gain one electron to form the hydride ion H minus like halogens. So, here alkali metals are solids while here hydrogen is a gas. Here hence the position of hydrogen in the modern periodic table is still under debate. Debate means it has a discussion as the properties of hydrogen are unique. So, here hydrogen is placed at the first group elements that is alkali metals. Now, next topic position of rare gases, it is also called as inert gases or noble gases. The elements helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon of group 18 in the periodic table are called as noble gases or rare gases. Here the they are monoatomic gases. Here their atomicity is 1. So, it is called as monoatomic gases and they do not react with other substances easily because due to the completely filled subshells. Subshells means S, P, D, F shells. Hence, they are called inert gases. Inert means inactive. These elements are inactive. They are found in very small quantities and hence they are called as rare gases. So, it is called as rare gases or inert gases or noble gases. Now, come to the next topic metals, non-metals and metalloids. First one metals. Metals are typically hard, shining, malleable. Malleable means it can be formed into sheets, fusible and ductile, ductile means it can be formed into, drawn into wires, thin wires with good electrical and thermal, thermal means heat conductivity. Except mercury, mercury has the symbol Hg. Most of the metals are solids at room temperature here, mercury is a liquid. Metals occupy larger area in the periodic table. So, metals they occupy the major place in the periodic table. Here, metals are categorized into follows. First one, alkali metals. Alkali metals means first group metals. Example, lithium to francium. The next one, alkaline earth metals, group 2 elements. Example, beryllium, Be to radium. The third one, transition metals, group third B to second B or group 
3 to 12 it is called as transition metals then p block metals in p block the elements are ca categorized into metals non metals and also metallized here in p block some of the metals are there aluminum gallium indium thallium tin s and tin lead means pb and bismuth bi so these are all categorized into alkali metals alkaline earth metals transition metals and also p block metals the next one non metals a non metal is an element that does not have the characteristic like hardness shiny malleable and suitable and ductile so uh, in other words a non metal is an element non metal means carbon nitrogen oxygen this is a non metal so they does not have the properties of metal metal means it is already you know that it is hard shining everything so non metal they do not have the properties of hardness shining everything so all non metals are arranged in p block only in p block the non metals are carbon nitrogen oxygen phosphorus sulfur selenium and also halogens halogens means fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine then inert gases inert gases mean helium 2 radon radon rn then metallides elements which have the properties of both metals and non metals are called as metallites example boron arsenic germanium silicon etc then alloys alloys are mixtures of two or more metals for example copper and sn sn means tin so this alloy is called as bronze and are formed by mixing molten metals thoroughly sometimes rarely non metals iron carbon carbon is a non metal the nickel chromium this is the alloy called stainless steel or also mixed with metals to produce alloys here the first one this is an alloy alloy here only two metals here this is an this is also called as an alloy it contains non metals also during 3500 BC people used an alloy named as bronze the idea of making an alloy was quite old the majority of the metallic uh, substances used today are alloys best example stainless steel then brass bronze everything it is generally found that alloys produce alloying produces a metallic substances that has more useful properties than original pure metals from which, from which it is made. For example, alloy is brass. Brass is an alloy. It is made up of copper and zinc. So, the brass it has the most more metallic uh, appearance than the metals copper and zinc. Now, some of the advantages of alloys. Alloys do not get corroded. Example, stainless steel scale. The second one, they are harder and stronger than pure metals. Gold ornaments, we are wearing a different shapes of ornaments. It is made up of gold is mixed with copper. So, it is very harder than pure gold. Then they have, alloys have less conductance than pure metals for example copper aluminium uh, silver they they are good conductors of heat and electricity whereas brass and bronze is an alloy are not good conductors and some alloys have lower melting point than pure metal for example so soldier soldier is an alloy of lead and tin lead means pb tin means sn which has the lower melting point than each of the metals. The last one, when metal is allied with mercury, mercury means symbol Hg. The Hg is mixed with any metal and it is called as amalgam. Sometimes the dentists use the uh, amalgam. That is silver and tin. It is mixed with mercury and it is called as 
uh, uh, that is called as dental amalgam it is used to fill the cavities. So, these are the advantages of alloys. Yes, students now come to the assignment. Explain about the position of hydrogen in the periodic table. The second one state and explain about the different types of metals. The third one what are metalloids? Fourth one what are alloys and what are the advantages of alloys? These three uh, four questions you have to learn and write one time. Okay, students, thank you.